and welcome back dudes and today we're gonna be playing minecraft story mode here okay so if you guys enjoy the video please leave a like comment down below what you liked about this video so let's get started and yet in all the known universe between here and the far lands the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, one of its as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a true land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have so long ago four heroes such as these. Oh, there we go. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends, together their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Gonna start playing. But when one story ends, another one begins. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized zombies or ten zombie sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear. You wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. So you... I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. All right, I was just making a point. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. You hear that? good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. The Ender Dragon was a huge dragon, not a pig. It's a costume, Jesse. The whole point is to look ridiculous. You've definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, 
shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. We really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Ruben. <laughs> That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at the...